five students went out and took the road and sat down. And at that moment, we knew, okay, it's happening. Whether everybody else is here or not, we're going to go for it. And to me, in some sense, that moment um, minimizes one of the aspects that I think of as those places where spirituality and activism converge. Uh, that it's in those moments where deep inside yourself you say, you know what? Something is calling me to do something, and I'm going to do it. And whatever the consequences, whether I have a thousand people with me, or a hundred people with me, or three people with me, or I'm all alone, um, we have a chant that we sing that sort of goes, if my soul says so, I'll do as my soul says. So we took the road, and we started our dance with about ten people, and once we started it, more and more people began to come. And again, for me, there's another lesson in that moment, too, um, that often when you feel that pull and you start doing something, it really just takes the seed, almost, of one person in a small group really putting themselves out and creating some sort of vision, creating some sort of moment of action to create the focus that other people can connect with. And we were dancing, and more and more people started to join the dance. And as we were dancing, our friends from another affinity group suddenly appeared, carrying two trees, um, and put them in the center so that we had the focus to dance around uh, of the symbol of what we were dancing for, which is the symbol of life and of growth and the kind of organic order that we were posing as a trade organization when it represented. And I said afterwards to Rodrigo, like, how did you get in here with those trees? <laughs> I mean, there were you know, police checking the buses, they were pulling cars over, we tried to drive in. Um, you had to walk through different checkpoints of military security, the fences, and, and Rodrigo just looked at me and he said, well, People don't expect you to be carrying trees. <laughs> and I think that there's something in that, you know, is the essence again for me about the point of spirituality and activism. Uh, that there is a kind of action we can take in the world that in some ways is very predictable. And um, I think the kinds of actions that we have seen our government taking last year or two, or perhaps all the way back into its history, in many ways um, are examples of that. That violence, essentially, is very predictable. I hit you, you hit me. I hit you harder. You make some rude remark about my mother. I counter with something else. You hit me again. We all know the pattern of that. Um, we all know the pattern of saying, you know, you've done something to me, so I will retaliate. And I don't care if I retaliate against the person who did it or someone associated with them or whatever. I'm going to retaliate to show you and the world just how much power I have. But we don't expect people to be carrying trees. <laughs> and when we take action that comes from our most deep-rooted values, and when we can take an action that can in some way embody those values in what we do, then in a sense we're carrying trees. We're bringing in the life force, we're bringing in a different sort of power, and we're exemplifying that power. We're not just preaching about it, um, but we're actually living it in that moment. And I think what we're called to do right now as a culture, as people who care about the earth, who have deep values, who care about other human beings, uh, is to figure out more and more how we can go around carrying some trees <laughs> and carrying them into the places where they actually interfere with the operations of the justice. Because when we do that, then things shift and things change. Think about what it is that you most deeply care about, what you most deeply value. sacred to you and 
the sense that what's sacred is what we care about most deeply, what we're willing to take a stand for and risk ourselves for. And when you think about that, think about how you embody that in your life, in your work, in your actions. Is there a way you carry it, like my friend Rodrigo would carry those trees? And as you breathe, to think also how it feeds you. Is there a way that you draw strength from it? As we eat the fruit of trees, as we draw strength and delight from their incredible beauty. Changes everything she touches and everything she touches changes. She changes everything she touches and Carry our visions and to stand for what is sacred. 